Don't sleep, TV. What's up? What's up? What's the deal? What's going on? Man, you know I'm good. I don't know if you know, but this is like the first interview I done did back in months. And you actually the first producer that I done that I done, uh, you know, interviewed or whatever. Oh, so, man, you know, it's super cool. I'm highly honored, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. What's yeah, up? so, um, you know, I already know you from a friend of a friend. You know, we, we got a little history together. You know, yeah. we went to school together or whatever. But, you know, for uh, people that's just, that's just not tuning in, like, who is FF Tanner? Like, that's that's what you, that's what you go by officially, right? Yeah, yeah. Double F Tanner. Double F Tanner. Double F, man. Double left, man, means fuck friends, friendly finesse, you know what I'm saying? Family first. You know, it's something we live by every day. Tanner, that's just me, you know what I'm saying? That's what everybody call me. You know Tanner, then you know me. That's just what it is. So, yeah. Don't say no more. Who we got in the back? Man, that's my young nigga Ivy Beast. Yeah, going yeah. crazy right now. We going yeah. stupid. We trying to put six on five on the map, just producing shit, you know how it go. Shit. Yeah, for sure. Alright. So, I mean. Let's talk about your upbringing a little bit. Like, I mean, was it easy for you growing up? I mean, was it, you know what I'm saying? How did you turn, like, what made, what got you to this point to where, like, all right, man, I, I want to make beats? Man, just going through shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everyday shit, you know, just life, you know, just figure out what I want to do. And, you know, I was making beats since I was, like, 14, but I ain't started to take it serious until I was, like, a senior in high school, you know what I'm saying? So. You feel me? After that, I just pretty much stayed dedicated and I've been seeing the results take me very far to where I am right now. So, yeah. And what you, uh, what, 19 now? I'm 20. 20, so yeah. you making beats for six years. Yeah, that, that is dedication. That, yeah. That's what's up. So, that's what's up. Well, um, you in college right now? Nah. You know, it's straight music? Yeah, I'm straight, that's, straight music. That's you know what's what I'm up. Saying? Straight. I'm on that right now. College maybe for the business aspect later on, but right now it's straight music on my end. Yeah. So um, I mean you got a, I feel like you got a real good, you got some good placements under your name. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jay Fizzle, Jay the Young, and how yeah. I was just telling you. Yeah. Uh, if G famous, that's some. That's one of J D Young and yeah, that's, that's a J D Young and John, but uh, him O G three three and old mm -hmm. mask uh, mm -hmm. going. Stupid on YouTube right now. A lot of people don't know I made that beat. That's what's crazy. Like nobody really know that. But when when I show them my producer tag, cause everybody just skipped that part when they yeah. heard Tanner. They like, oh, that was you that made that. Like that nigga, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's that's, that's that's pretty. That was that was the the number one song that got me my name. That got me out there. You know what I'm saying? That song right there. Everything after that song just been taken off. All right, so those dudes, for the majority, most of those dudes is from Louisiana, right? Um, uh, talking about Double F? Well, uh, no, I was, I was just speaking on like uh, the song. 3 and like all yeah, them. All, like yeah, most, of, most yeah. of them people that you produce for, they from Louisiana. How yeah. you get in contact with them? Like, um, how you land those man, things? direct message. Uh, I had hit up J.D. Youngin uh, when he was like first buzzing, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I could see myself doing something with him. And it's crazy because he sent me the email, but I had went to sleep that night and then I got a message from somebody and I looked back at my direct message and I forgot that got his email. I'm like, oh shit, I need to send him something real quick. So I hopped out my bed real quick. I say about 15, 30 minutes I made the beat. I sent it over. Then like I say about a month or two later, I'm just scrolling on Instagram just casually because I ain't think they did anything with it. And then I see the video snippet and I just kept hearing it. I played it over about six times. I'm like, man, I know that beat from somewhere. I'm like, wait a minute, that's my beat. Hold on, play that back. And I kept hearing, I'm like, bro, that's my beat. That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Then they dropped it, and I just seen it, was, it hit a million views. I'm like, man, this is crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. super big, bro. Yeah. It's only, I don't even, it ain't, I don't even think it's really no producers here that didn't hit a million views on a beat that they produce besides like some niggas like yeah. band play. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a coupe like some niggas yeah. that you work with Star Little. So, you know, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, like, that was one of my goals. Yeah, that was one of my goals. Like, man, I just want to hit a million views on YouTube real quick. See, with who? You know what I'm saying? Man, it happened to be J.D. Youngin. And then I was, it was just crazy because he got OG33 on there. I'm like, man, that just, that's another goal accomplished that I ain't even really just put on my list like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I got NBA nigga on my shit, you know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. I wish Youngboy was in that video, but he was locked up though, so. Yeah, that's official though. That's yeah. official. Good job.